the Lake Vernway Half Marathon 2024. So Lake Vernway is situated just over the Shropshire border in Wales and as it's more than a three hour drive from where we live we went to stay overnight in the area and Dawn will now tell you how to pronounce the lovely little town we stayed in. Llanfair Cyrenian. So there you go folks, I hope you're impressed. Dawn has been learning Welsh online so if you want to know how to say hello to a dragon, she's your woman. So breakfast consisted of porridge and coffee before we then made the nice scenic drive over to Lake Vernway. So we arrived about two hours before the race was due to begin because we had been advised that traffic might get quite congested going into the small village where the race started and finished. The Lake Vernway Half Marathon 2024. So this is a race we did back in 2010. I think I remember doing 75 minutes on here. What did you do? 86. Won't be running those times today. However, what we will get is a beautifully scenic loop around the lovely Lake Vernway me today. <laughs> I think our feelings about today are if a good time happens and great if not we'll have a good time rather than run a good time. So I seem to remember most of the course being like this so if it's windy you're sheltered, if it's raining you're sheltered, if it's warm you're sheltered. So I think that's what makes it potentially a very quick course despite this climb in the first mile. What goes up must come down so we get a fast finish. So this down wall is just past the one mile point and then you do a big loop all the way around this beautifully scenic lake, come back and then the last mile is quite a big downhill. So during this run, however it turns out, I will take you through a bit of the history of this lake. Very beautiful, very scenic. So warm up done, probably both feeling about 6 out of 10, so we'll give it a go and see what happens. Fueling strategy, we're both going to have an OT Super Carbs Gel, it's now about 15 minutes before the start, and take one for the race in case we think we need it, maybe around 7 or 8 miles. But if we don't need it, we won't take it, because they're expensive. <laughs> All runners to the start line please, everyone. We need you there in the next 5 minutes, please. So we're there with the next five minutes for an 11 a.m. race start. So a bit of background about the Lake Vernway Half Marathon. The entry today was around 1,100 runners. You can see it's a very popular race. I believe it first started back in 1988 and it was run as a community event by people from the local village. It did not return in 2021 after the COVID restrictions of 2020. Top numbers, give them a victory. Yeah. There we go. Fortunately, a local events company called Adrenaline Sporting Events, who organised 10Ks as well in the area, decided to step in and rescue the Lake Vernway Half Marathon. So we were super pleased to be able to come back in 2024 and take part once again. So as I said earlier, the first mile is largely uphill. Now I had in mind I wanted to run around 7 minute miling for this race, but I knew that the first mile might be a bit slower, and I had in mind anything up to 7.30 would be good for me. So I was pleased to see the first mile tick off in 7.20. So lucky okay, I'm thinking here for a season's best. Now we turn here onto the Lake Vernway Dam Wall and I'll tell you a little bit about the history of it. So Lake Vernway was created between 1881 and 1890 to provide water for the city of Liverpool. It meant flooding the valley, including the village of Llanwuthen. So there you go, that's two of us can do Welsh. And the village had to be relocated to where the race starts and finishes now. At the time, it was the largest artificial reservoir in Europe. So if you do come to the area, it's beautiful, but also remember the history of the place. In fact, 10 people lost their lives in the construction of the dam and the lake. But what beautiful views we have on this lovely September morning. So I'm still looking at pace, thinking I really want this mile to be around seven minutes so I can hit my target, which would be to run around 1.32. So nice and flat at the minute and a bit of crowd support on the wall. So coming off the dam, you swing a right and then undertake a big loop which is just under 11 miles and this is the sheltered bit I was talking about. 
Now my race was proceeding not quite as I'd envisaged. As I've said, I wanted to run about seven minute miling. I was coming out about 7.10, so I had a decision to make. Did I plow on, perhaps come out with a 134, 135, which wasn't my target for the day, but smash my legs up, or should I enjoy beautiful views like that, ease back a little bit and get a good, strong training effort out of it and await Dawn's presence and encourage her in. So just passing the water station here, there were three or I believe four water stations en route, so very well provided for, very well resourced race. So, my brow is sweating and my mouth gets dry. The fancy people go drifting by. If you recognise that one, then hats off to you. I'm really impressed and let me know in the comments below. So yeah, I dropped to 8 minute miling and then calculate that Dawn should catch me up somewhere between 6 and 7 miles about halfway into the race if she's having a good one. So I'm actually really enjoying running 8 minute miling rather than 7 minute miling. Enjoying these stunning views and keep looking back to when Dawn would catch me up, maybe running about 7.30 to 7.40 pace. <laughs> So either one of those Vuvuzelas or a Marx Brothers convention taking place at Lake Vernwy. So I set off and I felt quite relaxed and comfortable and I thought I'm just going to ease into this run. I knew there was a hill in the first mile so I thought just sit back, take the hill nice and easy and then when I get to the top I'll decide how I feel and I'll start to pick up the pace. So yes, I was enjoying the scenery and I let this help me to sort of settle down into the race in all honesty. I just thought the race doesn't actually start till you get to about eight miles dawn. So just tick off the miles one by one and let the run come to you. Don't try and force the pace. So although I wasn't trying to force the pace and I was relaxed, I was a little bit disappointed that the mile splits were a little bit slower than I was hoping for. However, I didn't let this distract me because I know that in the latter miles I can normally pick it up a little bit. So I just thought, relax, you know, you've got nothing to lose. I'm just here to have a good run and enjoy myself. So I wasn't surprised or put out or even thrown to see John at halfway. He did say to me at the beginning his legs were 6 out of 10, he was just going to give it a go until about 4 miles and see how he felt. So yes, it was no surprise that we then ended up running in together. So the second half of the race went okay for me. In fact, at this point, this is when I decided I was going to put the hammer down. Yes, so between 7 and 8 miles I decided it's now time to focus. So I started to pick up the pace and really get into my stride. It was time to forget about the scenery and start thinking about how I felt in my body. Now, again, I wasn't feeling 100%, but I knew I had enough left in me to have a strong finish. The second half of the course was a little bit sparse, but I could see people ahead. So I'm now into the last couple of miles of the race and I start to overtake people. It was nice to say hello to a lady who said she watched the channel. So I hope you had a good run and enjoyed the course as much as I did. I was feeling really strong at this point and the last two miles were my quickest miles of the actual race. We are however going downhill at this point and I do love a downhill finish as John will tell you. So I think my last mile actually came out at about 6.45 which was pretty rapid for me. So yeah, a really fine display of strong road running from Dawn here. Um, she had an idea that she might feature in her age category prizes, so that was one reason to push. But I think we both realised that she wasn't going to match the 136 she had done earlier in the year at the Brass Monkey Half Marathon in York, or the 137 she had done at the North Lincolnshire Half Marathon at Scunthorpe. But hey, look at these views. What a privilege it is to be running round this gorgeous lake on this September morning. So we're still passing people here as we move into the final mile or so. And yeah, slight downhill as we can see. And passing some of the supporters just going by the dam wall there. You can see so we are under one mile to go past the war memorial on the left. And push, push, push. She is really working very hard now. And I'm looking at my watch and it's showing sort of 6.15 to 6.20 pace at this point. So a fine finish from dawn. The only thing that didn't have a fine finish was the camera which ran out just before the finish line unfortunately. So although it was really quite heavy rain in these last couple of miles, because it's a sheltered course, you don't actually feel it. And so it was only at the end that I actually realised how heavy the rain was. 
Yes, I would say that Lake Vernway is one of those courses where you can run a strong season's best if you hit it on the right day in the right form. I wouldn't say it's an all-time PB course, although some of you may have hit your PB here. But yeah, as I say, it is one where you can run a very strong time. All the shelter, it is quite a reasonable course in terms of undulation. And that was it in terms of the race footage. And so on to the prize ceremony and we already knew by virtue of the internet that Dawn had finished first in her age category. Dawn Broom, she's 138, oh my God, it's like 33, sorry. <laughs> so I'd really recommend this race, it was a beautiful scenic course very well organised. It topped off a wonderful weekend in Wales for us and I'm glad we went back some 14 years after our first time of being there and I would go back and do it again. And despite it not being my day in terms of race performance I still got four miles at half marathon pace, a three mile float and then another seven miles at probably around marathon pace for me. So a good morning's work and I got to enjoy it running with Dawn and again this lovely scenery in this fantastic part of the country where we will certainly be returning. So we hope you've enjoyed joining us for the Lake Vernway Half Marathon 2024. If you have, please give this video a like and if you'd like to see our further running adventures, I think next weekend we're up in Redcar where there's another half marathon and then Dawn has the Chester Marathon on the 6th of October and after that I'll be running some 10Ks hoping to get down below 40 minutes again. Then please consider subscribing to the channel. So until next time, Keep on keeping on. Keep on keeping on.